So, let me start with an illustration. Ano? Uh, yan, 1,000 na uh, peso bill, no? Crisp and malinis, no? I suppose, alam natin lahat yan, no? Siguro, pag may nagbigay sa atin ng isang libong piso, tatanggapin natin kagad, di ba? I mean, sino bang uh, aayaw dyan, no? Or if you're given a 1,000 peso bill. Uh, but, what if nilukot nila to? Kinrample nila yung 1,000 peso bill at dinumihan, tatanggapin mo pa ba ito pag binigay sa'yo? Siguro, tatanggapin ko pa rin kung ako yan. Is only 1,000 is 1,000. And no matter what you do, it will not diminish the value of the 1,000 peso bill. Ngayon, this, is, this might be a poor example of how God loves us or how God values us. But basically, what I'm trying to say is no matter what we are, our value to God is the same. Now, let us now go to our topic. No? God always loves us unconditionally. God always loves us unconditionally. So love. Now, let us go muna to what the world tells us about love. I love you if Yan ang worldly view of love. I love you if you are beautiful. I love you if you are handsome. I love you kung may buhok ka. <laughs> natawa, natawa, no? I love you if you are bright or witty. Diba? Parang si Milbert, no? I love you if it is a conditional thing. The worldly view of love is something that the, the person or the being who loves find something in the other person. So kung wala yun, hindi kita love. Diba? Kung hindi ka, if you do not uh, exhibit that condition, hindi kita mahal. Diba? Or if it was the other way around, if I want to be loved, I need to be blank. Siguro yung mga participants can fill this up, no? Uh, I love you, if you are fun to be with, I love you if you are palaging naglilibre. Di ba? <laughs> Yan ang mga ano eh. I love you. I, if, if, if I want to be loved pala, I need to be somebody who is always gracious yung naglilibre. Di ba? If I want to be loved, I need to be one with the group. Di ba? So together, I think this gives us a lot of problems. See the this actually this this phrase parang uh, puts us in the spot, and what we end up doing is putting masks. Diba? We cannot be ourselves. Sabi nga ni Jen, I cannot be vulnerable because the world loves strong people. So hindi ako pwedeng maging weak, di ba? Hindi ako uh, let's say I need to. It, results to relative morality, di ba? Ang sabi ng mundo, pwede to eh. So kung gusto ko maging in ako, eh, kailangan gawin ko rin to, di ba? So it brings a lot of problems and it allows, uh, it does not allow us to be ourselves. It, uh, kaya maraming problema ang mundo ngayon kasi we want to be somebody that the world will love. But I guess, hindi din design ng Diyos yung ganyan kasi ayaw naman ng Diyos na hindi tayo masaya. Kasi as in the story of Jen, ang dami niyang checklist, kailangan ganito ako. Eh pero paano kung hindi ka ganyan? Di ba? So, masyado yung nakakapagod kasi you are always being somebody who you are na. Siguro, familiar sa inyo yung saying na putting our best foot forward, di ba? trying to fit in, di ba? Uh, it, it confuses us kasi parang hindi ako ito pero kung ipapakita ko ang sarili ko, baka hindi ako mahalin. So I end up being confused, di ba? I am, uh, end up being depressed, di ba? Kasi I confuse. Minsan yung mga tao, hindi na nila alam kung sino sila. <laughs> Nalilito na sila. Uh, Nade-depress kasi although 
pagkasama nila yung mga kaibigan nila, ganito ako, masayahin ako, maingay ako, di ba? Nag-joke around ako. Pero, nalulungkot ako pag mag-isa ako kasi alam ko hindi ako yun. So, the word view of love basically is focused on uh, parang uh, trying to fit in, trying to be somebody you are not. So, yun yung the world, no? But, how does God love us? God loves us, period. He accepts us as who we are. Uh, makikita natin sa maraming verses sa Bible na tumalabas, parang mas kilala niya pa tayo kaysa kilala natin ang sarili natin. Di ba? Uh, in, in Jeremiah 1, verse 5, sinabi niya na, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. So, hindi ka pa pinapanganak, kilala ka na niya. Di ba? Uh, For you created my innermost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. Di ba? Uh, alam na niya kung ano yung nasa loob natin. Uh, You know me when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. These are, these are just examples of how God loves, uh, knows us inside and out. And because of that, wala tayong choice to be just ourselves with the Lord. Ewan ko kung nasubukan nyo, di ba, pag nagpe-prayer time kayo, di ba? in your quiet time, ako, minsan, o ang, ang prayer time ko sa umaga-umaga, yung madilim pala, kainit pala. So, uupo ako sa sofa, makikipagkwentuhan ako kay God. Siyempre, papasok yung aking human self, no? Siyempre, kukwento ako si God, magaganda palagi, no? Kung ano yung mga nagawa ko. Naiimagine ko si God ng katabi ko na nangingiti lang. At parang sinasabi niya sa akin, tayong dalawa na lang dito, magbubulahan pa ba tayo? Di ba? <laughs> Alam ko naman kung ano iniisip mo. Alam ko kung kailan ka nadapa. Eh, alam ko kung kailan ka nagkamali. ba? Diba? So, parang, ah, having said that, mangingiti na lang ako, oh, sige Lord, kilala mo. So, you just end up just revealing yourself to God. Ang ganda ng word na ginamit ni Jen kanina, being vulnerable. Kasi when you, when you are yourself, you become very vulnerable. You open yourself up. Kasi, maaaring hindi ka i-accept, di ba? So, yan ang tinakatakutan natin sa mundo. But we know that with God, alam na niya lahat ito. Bago pa ako na-upo doon sa sopa, alam na niya kung ano nangyari sa akin. Alam na niya kung ano yung iniisip ko, di ba? So, ano pa itatago ko? So, we, by, we have no choice but to be ourselves and to reveal to God our innermost being. And I think that is where our most Intimate conversations happen with the Lord. Yan yung ako, ang isa dyan yung when you lament, when you talk to God and tell them kung paano ka nagitira kung sinasabi ni Jen. Kasi, hindi, as I said, sa una, ang poor good things lang yung pag-uusapan yun. No? Pero pag malalim na yung uh, relationship with God, alam mo, alam niya na lahat ng nangyayari sa'yo, you can tell Him, Lord, bakit nangyayari to? You can lament, you can tell Him your innermost uh, uh, sufferings, di ba? And I suppose that is when you really have your meaningful conversation. So, that is one of the things that we should, we already know, I suppose. Everybody in this uh, gathering already knows that God loves us unconditionally and He knows us very well. But, even though we know that, mahira pa rin practice. So, I think, kahit nasa personally sa akin, maganda itong pagkakataon na to when Dennis asked me to do this talk na mapaalalahanan tayo na wala ka nang dapat itago sa Diyos. Ang Diyos ay hindi mundo na kailangan mo maging uh, somebody to, for Him to love you. He loves you as you are. He loves you for who we are. Uh, paano natin malalaman na mahal na tayo? Kasi He loved us when we are at our worst, di ba? He sent His Son, as we all know, to save us from sin. Kailan niya pinadala yung anak niya? Hindi nung tayo eh, maayos na. Pinadala niya tayo 
habang tayo ay magkaaway, habang hindi natin siya sinusunod, habang hindi tinatalikuran natin siya. So, His love is not conditional to our love. Kahit na hindi niya tayo mahal, kahit na tinatalikuran natin siya, mahal niya pa rin tayo. Uh, I just have one comment, no? nabanggit nga ni Jen, bakit nangyayari sa atin ito? Bakit tayo minsan, kung mahal mo ko, Lord, bakit ako nagkahihirapan, di ba? Bakit ako dumadaan sa mga problema? And I suppose, in my uh, preparation for this talk, kasi inisip ko rin, Lord, bakit nga ganyan? But, uh, I guess the Lord is like any good parent, di ba? Ang isang mapagmahal na tatay, hindi niya ini-spoil yung anak niya. And it is said in Jeremiah that everything that he does or his, his purpose is for our good. And uh, the plans that he made is for our good. So we know that in spite of what we're undergoing, this is something in the end that will be for our benefit. Ngayon, kung papatanong niyo sa akin kung ano yan, I guess minsan may mga bagay na mahirap ipaliwanag na may nagsabi na nga sa akin, sige, pag nakita kayo ni Lord, tanungin mo siya. Sigurado may sagot siya dyan. So we just have to be in faith that everything He does, even if we think that this is something that we appears to be punishment, we know that He's doing everything out of love. May higit pa ba sa, pa sa, sa, sa pagmamahal na pinadala niya yung kanyang kaisa-isang anak para sa ibang tao? I mean, hindi madali yun. Alam ko yan sa mga, kahit sa mga, lalo na sa mga parents dito, na ipadala mo yung anak mo para iligtas ang buhay ng kalaban mo ng isang tao na hindi kayo na-accept. Medyo mahirap yun. So, yun yung patunay kung gano'n niya kamahal tayo. Susunod na tanong natin is, uh, mayroon ba tayong pwedeng gawin para hindi niya tayo mahalin? Diba? Is there something we can do that will uh, make God not love us? And, We find that in Romans 8 that this is not so. For if I may, if I may read, no, I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love, neither death nor life, neither angels or demons, neither our fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. This is one of the verses that I really hang on to, especially when I feel down. Alam naman natin yan, uh, this world is full of disappointments, di ba? Uh, this world is full of rejection, di ba? And I just hang to, on to this uh, verse na if there is somebody or if, if there is a being that I would have to ask for love, it is God. Wala nang iba. Kung ako eh hindi mamahalin ng kahit na sino, kahit na ang Diyos lang ang magmahal sa akin, sapat na yun. At alam ko na nasa akin na yung pagmamahal na yun. Sinabi na niya na mahal kita. Nabanggit na yan ni John kanina that, uh, in, ano, in Isaiah, I think, He claimed you. You are mine. I call you by name and you are mine. So sapat na sa akin na alam ko na mahal ako ng Diyos at wala akong pwedeng gawin na, na pwedeng uh, maalis sa akin yung pagmamahal. Uh, may magtatanong siguro sa atin, no? Eh, pag nagkasala ka, mamahalin ka pa ba ng Diyos? Diba? Will God still love you if you do something wrong? If you turn your back again, uh, uh, against him or you do something bad, uh, I would say he will still love you. As in the previous for, uh, verse that we saw, even though we were enemies, he still sent his son Jesus to save us. Now, where does love and that come into play? No? Lo- God loves us whether he is doing something good or bad in our life. Bad is relative, no? Parang sinasabi nga ni Jen, 
bakit nagkakaganon sa akin ito? One of my vivid uh, parang uh, experience there is that one time, ewan ko kung na uh, tatandaan yung bagyong milenyo, yung nagbabaha sa Maynila, no? Nagpunta ako sa isang lugar sa aming center and I was undoy pala yun, sorry, undoy. <laughs> so, uh, nagpunta kami sa center to serve uh, an outreach, no? Yung pag-uwi namin ng tanghali, bumaha, lum- actually lumubog yung aking sasakyan. And uh, me and my wife have to swim out of my car sa ganun kalalim na baha. So while I was waiting for somebody to come and pick us up, nagdadasal ako kay Lord, Lord, bakit nagkaganito? I am doing your work, di ba? In fact, doon ako galing. Bakit sa mangyayari sa akin to? And I guess... He allowed me to experience that so that he can uh, tell me that love is beyond all these things. Hindi dahil magaganda yung nangyayari sa'yo, ibig sabihin mahal kita. So, uh, kahit na may nangyayari sa'yo, hindi maganda, always remember that mahal kita. And actually, I felt more love than ever because of that. So let us hold on to that, uh, that, uh, that belief that God loves us no matter what. Yan. Simple, simple lang yan. If there is any takeaway that I can uh, leave you tonight is that God loves us unconditionally. When we say unconditionally, we do not have to be somebody or we do not do, we have to do anything for to earn His love. His love is freely given to us. And that there is nothing that we can do for Him not to love us. So, and there's nothing we can do also to increase that love because He already has loved us to the max. Now, having said that, siguro babalik sa atin yung bola. Uh, having uh, being the recipient of this love, maybe what we can ponder on tonight is how do we respond to this kind of love? A love that is unconditional, a love that is not even earned, and is not merited, but is out of His goodness and love for us. So, yun lang mga kapatid, it's a simple, a sabi nga ni Manny, it's a fundamental truth, but let us hold on to that, that God loves us constantly, Always and unconditionally. Yeah. Maraming, maraming salamat po, mga kapatid.